Hello and welcome to Usual Mike Television. These are my WrestleMania 33 reactions. Different background. My schedule's a little bit out because of the bad weather in my area, but this is a toy channel. I'm not here to talk about floodwaters. Anyway, <laughs> tomorrow on my channel, I will have a DDP action figure to review. But until then, these are my reactions. What happened at WrestleMania was one of the best things ever. It seemed seamless, it seemed good, it was great. It was what wrestling fans needed. In the past, we've been disillusioned a little bit how wrestling has been run, and little moments have been like shockers, WrestleMania moments. One in particular I go for is Seth Rollins cashing in at WrestleMania. That was a moment to, this whole show we watched was great right along the board. Everyone who won, you know, good. It was, it was, it was how it was. And the Hardys are back. The Hardys are back and they're tag team champions. But I'll start at the beginning of the show. Kickoff. Kickoff had Neville versus Austin Aries. My pick, I picked uh, Neville. By the way, go and check up in the top corner there. I'll leave a link. That is to my predictions video where, holy shit, I got so many right. Ha. Another one I had was Dean Ambrose. He beat Baron Corbin in the, the kickoff match. And um, the Battle Royale. Um, who the hell is Rob Gronsky? The Gronk. I have no idea. International fans do not know all these NFL, NBA players. You know, that's more for the US market. The rest of us are scratching us. Who? 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 We don't know. So when he got involved and helped Mojo Rolly win the Battle Royale, it was like... <laughs> I, I tipped Sami Zayn's in my video, and I was like, how am I supposed to predict when someone who I've never heard of gets involved? I'm like, bah. But Jinder Mahal, thank you for staying there to the end. Good. Good for you. You should have won it anyway. <laughs> Moving on to the big, big show, the big granddaddy of them all, uh, Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles match. Great match. I didn't think Shane and AJ had style the 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 type or the style of wrestling that would go together uh, i was always thinking that shane was a bit more attitude era and aj's more 21st century era it's like this kind of it was a mixed mixed sort of blend but it went well it was a great great match great spots lots of oh phenomenal forearms and coast to coast it all works so well and what a great match and i think i tipped aj go and check that video out AJ, <clears throat> the tag team match, the raw tag team match with the club, Enzo and Cass, who I picked as to win. Now, I picked them to win, but how was I know the Hardy Boys weren't going to come back? And C Cesaro and Sheamus were in the match as well. And the Hardy Boys came back, and they won. It was hard to tip who would win when you didn't know they were going to compete. So, well done, Hardys, the raw tag team champions. And then we had that mixed tag match. John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice. The Miz and Maurice have been taking the piss out of them a lot lately. You know, the parodies and all that. That's fantastic. And I picked Miz and Maurice to win. I was hoping Maurice would do a bit more as a wrestler, but she got involved a little bit, but not so much. But John and, and The Miz, uh, that's all always good in it. Those two could have just put on a show just themselves without having the girls involved. But it was wonderful. And it finished with John and Nikki winning. And then John getting down on bended knee to ask for a hand in marriage. Oh, beautiful moment. You know, the ladies love that sort of stuff. You hear the girls in the crowd, ah! and the girls at home are taking photos of the screen. Like, <laughs> love it. Well, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Cena to be. <laughs> the non-sanctioned match between Triple H and Seth Rollins. I picked Triple H to win. I didn't think he would put... Rollins over because I thought they would carry on he's still injured but what a great match this was some people said this is the match of the night well the match of the night for me that that went down to Seth Rollins he won that the match of the night for me strange enough was Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg these guys just big moves that's it big moves and the match was long it was grueling it was good as you see Goldberg walking down the entrance you could see him looking up the crowd he knew this is his last mania he would be part of he looked around soaked it all in enjoyed it brock lesson was there to kick some ass and he did that and then he won the match the united states championship kevin owens and chris jericho that was a brutally 
good match. Those two guys can wrestle, as you know. And they put it on absolute clinic. Brilliant stuff. Kevin Owens gets the win. And he is the new United States champion. The Raw Women's Championship. I think I picked out of <clears throat> Sasha, Sh Bailey, Nia Jax, and Charlotte. I picked Nia Jax because she hasn't won the belt yet. And I was like, well, she deserves to have the belt. That I didn't realize it was an elim uh, it was a it was a elimination match. You get pinned, you're out of there. And Nia Jax was first because they all teamed up on her because <laughs> they all hate her because she's the heel. But anyway, sorry Nia you didn't win, but Bailey retains to live that WrestleMania dream. It was kind of a Daniel Bryant kind of moment, like you know the really genuine, true grit underdog got up for the win. It was it was lovely. Well done, Bailey. And finally. The match at the end of the night was Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. What a great match. The Undertaker, he you can tell he's not as nimble as he used to be, but Roman Reigns, he schooled him. He beat him with everything within an inch of his life. He, the Undertaker put a tombstone on him and he kicked out of it. Like, that's amazing. Amazing. Um, Never happened before, and probably won't happen again, because that was the curtain call, most likely, for The Undertaker. That was his final ever match. He, at the end, took his gloves off, took his hat off, put the coat in the middle, walked out, put his arm up, and the entrance was 150 metres long, and they made him come out near the end there. <laughs> There's a hole that he dropped in and out. That was his entrance point. Now, speaking of all that, the entrances. Wow, some of them were spectacular. You know, you got Triple H riding a trike out there, fantastic. Um, the when Randy Orton come out, the ramp, uh, as you know, it's got a video screen. It had a serpent on it, a, a viper, obviously. That looked cool. Seth Rollins come out and he set it on fire. Roman Reigns punched punched the ground, and the ramp was like set on fire along the way. It was fantastic. It's just so good, you know. All the stars that come down, their their names roll down on the. Oh. Just brilliant looking. It just looks spectacular. This was a world-class event. Fantastic. Oh, you know, it's right up there. It's 9 out of 10. There was there was nothing that was super duper. Other than the Hardys coming back, I didn't see anything that was, like, unbelievably shocking. But it was just genuinely good. And that's what I liked about watching WrestleMania 33. I'm sorry that it's, like, getting uploaded 24 hours plus later. <laughs> this was supposed to go up on a Monday. As you know, using, you guys in the US use have the pay-per-view on a Sunday night. We have it on a Monday morning in Australia. That's the big difference, you know. If, if we had it on the Sunday night, you'd get this video up on the Monday. Now it's going to be so long before it goes up. But not to worry, it's up. You've got my reactions. The Hardys are back! <laughs> I'm, I'm hyped, 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 hyped for Monday Night Raw, which is like on in like an hour. Ooh, better get on to that. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow, figure going up on this channel. You can watch DDP's action figure review right here on Usual Mike Television's Toy Showcase channel. And you can follow me on Twitter at Usual Mike 30 or at Usual Mike 30 or go to Instagram and follow me at Usual Mike Television. Subscribe for more awesome review videos like this one from WrestleMania. Subscribe for more, and all the best.